future of India is bright in terms of growth. We discussed the future of India on how to accelerate the growth of the economy. We have a plan to multiply it by three times in the next 10 years. India uh, will have this, his, its population grow by 200 more million by 2040. This will bring a lot of opportunities in all areas of infrastructure. We discussed the future of India on how to accelerate the growth of the economy and the presence of Sangobin in India. We have a plan to multiply it by three times in the next 10 years. So that's one area that we discussed. The second is everything we are advocating for green buildings in India, light and sustainable construction for good summer comfort, acoustic, air quality. There is a lot we can do to decarbonize, reduce CO2 emissions and help India achieve the carbon neutrality journey in the next decades. Mm -hmm. sir, and, uh, sir, what is your plan for green uh, energy in India? We take a lot of renewable electricity. Mm -hmm. By 2024, we'll have 60% of renewable electricity, 100% by 2027. Mm -hmm. We push also circular economy, recycled products, and we decarbonize our processes. For instance, our plasterboard number six in Vizag is 100% biomass with rice husk from around Vizag. So we have a lot of initiatives towards reducing our carbon footprint in our 33 manufacturing sites in India. And second, promote the low carbon offer towards reducing the content of CO2 in cement, in concrete, low carbon glass. So a lot of solutions for green buildings towards the future of India. India is a great place. It's a democracy. There is a huge demography. So we know the future of India is bright in terms of growth. The success of Sangaban shows over the last 25 years that you can be profitable, growing. You have a very, very strong pool of talents for R&D, for manufacturing, for digital. So build the talents of India like we have been doing for the last 25 years and you will have a bright success for years to come. So welcome to India. It's a, a great place to do business and fantastic teams for me. That's the main asset, fantastic teams and demography in India for the next decades. India has been growing very fast, double digit uh, over the last 25 years, and now is the third country in the profit pool of Sangban worldwide. After the US and France, India is now number three. We have uh, Asia managed by our manager for India. The CEO of India is also overseeing all Asia for us, and the group CFO of Sangaba, you know, after 350 years, our group CFO is from India. That shows also the essence and the importance of India towards the future of Sangaba. Look, in Sangaba group, there is a lot of investment in India. And India, which is for India, is a very important country for group. You will see, in the last eight years, which is our investment in India, is more than two times more than two times more than two times more than two times. हम 25 साल पहले इंडिया में सैंगबान नहीं था और अभी इसी दौरे में आप देखेंगे कि जो प्रोग्रेस हुआ है जो उन्नति कर रहे हैं हमलोग उससे और भी कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ गया है अभी मिनिस्टर से मिलने के बाद एक कॉन्फिडेंस होता है क्योंकि जब गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज जो बिजनेस फ्रेंडली हो तो कोई भी बिजनेस इन्वेस्ट बहुत बड़ी बात होती है जब आपको एक कॉन्फिडेंस मिलता है तो आप देखेंगे इन्वेस्टमेंट की कोई कमी नहीं होगी तो सर अगले पांच साल या दस साल का अगर हम देखें तो किस तरह से सेंट गोबा जो है इंडिया में एक्सपेंड करने के अभी सेंट गोबा का हाउसहोल्ड नाम है इंडिया के लिए तो किस तरह से और इसको आप एक्सटेंशन करेंगे और अपना मजबूत करेंगे बिजनेस देखिए इंडिया में ग्रोथ इतना है आज हम लोग जो बोलते हैं कि जो भी हमारे जो भी सोल्यूशन है वो सब सस्टेनेबल सॉल्यूशंस हैं हम लोग कार्बन न्यूट्रलिटी में बहुत काम करते हैं जब 25 साल पहले जब इंडिया में सेंट गोबेन पहली बार आया जो नए नए जो टेक्नोलॉजी लेके आया किसी को ये विश्वास नहीं था कि इंडियंस भी इतने अच्छे टेक्नोलॉजी और क्वालिटी के प्रोडक्ट्स को यूज करेंगे ये जो एस्पिरेशन जो है इंडिया में सब लोगों का बढ़ता जा रहा है I wanted to uh, introduce uh, my company, Aegis, uh, to the minister. You know, Aegis is the French leader for engineering for infrastructure. We've been established in India for 27 years. So I wanted to uh, uh, see what the opportunities are in India with the, with the minister. 
because you know India uh, will have this his its population grow by 200 more million by 2040. This will bring a lot of opportunities in all areas of infrastructure, rail, of course, but also road, water. And I wanted to discuss with the minister the, the opportunities for a company like mine, Aegis. Mm -hmm. So, sir, uh, you are uh, working with the uh, Metro, Delhi Metro, and the other state governments. So, what scope do you see for your company there, and how they are benefiting with your consultant? I mean, the amount of investments that the government uh, has forecast for the infrastructure is huge uh, by 2030. We are th talking about $4.5 trillion. This is probably one of the countries in the world which will invest the most. This is why this is a key focus for Aegis, because we have all the relevant technologies in order to bring carbon-friendly uh, technologies for the future infrastructure of India. What is very interesting is that most of the infrastructure of 2050 in India do not exist simply because they need to be built. So this is the opportunity to choose the best technologies in terms of uh, carbon-friendly uh, technologies for India to uh, be an example to the world uh, for uh, reaching its target to be carbon-neutral uh, by 2070.